Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kay from Ear to the Streets, back with a quick message. This one is going out to Taz the GOAT, Taz Exclusives. Um, recently, a uh, white man named Brian went on Cynthia G's page, and she interviewed him and kind of let that man run wild with his opinions about black men. And this is no shock. You know, I'm not surprised by Cynthia G. But what was kinda shocking was Taz spitting out her own talking points. And when I, when I say talking points, it just means like I keep hearing him say why are black men mad at Cynthia G for what Brian said? And how him, he also said himself, Nyla, and Cynthia said it first. And Taz in no way comes across as he's like a dumbass or idiot to me. So... I find that that statement or that logic to be very disingenuous. I don't really believe that that man feels that way. I think it's just because that's his wife and he's cool with Cynthia that he understands or he will put his reservations about the way they handle and handling it aside based off the goal that they're trying to achieve. Now, to give Cynthia and Nala both credit, I honestly believe that in their mind, they believe that they're helping. Like what they're doing is ultimately part of the solution for the issues that black women such as themselves are having with black men. And to tell the truth, when it comes to a situation like that, people can't, nobody could really tell you the right way to do it if they never did. So, I give them that. Right? I give them that. Second, they're women. You know what I'm saying? And once again, in their mind, a lot of what they're doing, pushback, and they say it themselves. This is why I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying this because they have I've witnessed both of them say that you know they they're pretty much their justification for riding on black men the way they do is pushback for the way black men are riding on black women, and to tell the truth, I know Omar Johnson has voiced his opinion about this. Nyla, Taz, Cynthia G, Sarnetta, um, General Seti. There's a few black people that I follow and have respect for that have um, basically took the side with women. And I'm not, I don't rock with yes man. I'm not a yes man, so I don't need no man to tell me what I hear. If that's the way they feel, that's their, you know, that's their right to feel that way. But my issue with that is my whole life I've been witness to black women opening floodgates for other races to voice their opinions and put on public platforms about stereotypes about black men. And I'm coming around to it because the problem I have with your logic, Taz, is that you will sit there and say, why are we coming for the black women that's allowing the man to say it on their platform, but not coming for that man? And the main reason is, Taz, we already know how our enemy feels about us, yeah? We already know 
our enemy views us. We already know what our enemy, the position our enemy wants us in. We have a problem with, quote unquote, our women opening the door for him to do it and co-signing it, not giving pushback for nothing he said, even though he's sitting there saying a bunch of BS. It might have been a few things he might have said in there that has some type of truth to it, but nothing he said in that whole interview was 100% right and exact. And so for you to stand there and allow this dude that's coming across as a white supremacist like, the man basically sat there and said that black women can have a seat at the table, but black men can't. And it seems like black women are okay with that. You know, you all like to flip this back on black men, but black men have not had a grip on the black community my whole life. So how do we keep blaming the person who had the least amount of influence the one who the white man will put locks and chains and barricades in front of the door when the black woman walks up, unlock the door, open it, and welcome her with a smile. And we sit here and we got our own people that live through this and see this basically sitting there saying that we need to fight the oppressor. But y'all are not fighting the oppressor. Y'all are fighting black men. You doing what this world and this country and this, you know, the people in it have done to black men since I was a child. I could name it. Ricky Lake, um, Donahue, um, Jenny Jones. All of these shows when I was growing up had different shows and dates where they just depicted black men in the worst like they gave the floor to black women to get up there and talk reckless about black men where have black men been able to do this except the manosphere and that to me is the problem that y'all have with the manosphere it's not that what the guys are saying in the manosphere is like what brian was saying taz you got to keep it 100 man a lot of the stuff that black men are speaking on in that black manosphere is official. So for you to sit there and just focus on the bullshit that comes out in the manosphere is very disingenuous, yeah? And for you to sit next to these black women while they coon, but then try to check black men for cooning is dead wrong. If we sat there and checked black men for the past 50 years, when is it black woman, black woman's turn to be corrected? Unless y'all are trying to say that they are perfect. So, you know, I don't expect to get too much positive feedback because I noticed that on those channels, even when, you know, you even when people come respectfully, when men, black men come respectfully, it's still, you know, met with vitriol and disrespect. So I don't expect, you know, I expect to be called the, um, what they call it, the, the, the trash bag bandits and beta male and all of them, you know, y'all little names y'all have for us. You know, I expect to hear that. I don't expect to hear, you know, logic. And maybe, you know, if 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 you would like to have a conversation about this respectfully, I'm all for it. Because maybe there's some things that, you know, I'm not seeing or I don't understand. And maybe you could show that to me. But, you know, I'm a great listener intelligent i pay attention and i just don't i don't see the method behind this madness even when you say the reason why you say the things you say are to highlight other things i just don't see how dragging your own is the solution 
So thanks for watching. This is the streets.